We are now looking at the teaching video on further differentiation. We are looking at exponential functions. Let's look at part A. Common results of differentiation of exponential functions. So the focal point will be the differentiation of the exponential functions. Now, from the start, what we have is a, b and c. These are constants and they appear in the expression of the exponential functions. So let's look at the first one here, e to the power a. If I have to differentiate that, I must first of all recognize that e to the power a is a constant. And if I differentiate anything a constant, then the result will be a zero. So in this case, I have a zero. Now, part two. The expression is e to the power of ax. That is a variable x. So therefore, when I differentiate an expression like that, first of all, I will re rewrite what I have here. Then I focus on the expression of the index, and that is ax. If I differentiate that, because it is an x term, I'll get the coefficient of that x term, which is a. So that a will be a multiplier to what I've written beforehand, e to the power of ax. For 3, the expression is slightly longer. This is still linear. This is linear also. So the expression is e to the power of ax plus b. When I differentiate that again, that will be copied over here. So when I focus on this part, which is the expression of the index, when I differentiate that, the constant term will become zero. But this x term, what I can do is to take the coefficient to be the multiply of this expression here. Next, if the expression is a quadratic one, then I still do like what I normally do with the exponential function, that is to copy that. Now, when I look at the expression of the index which is a quadratic expression the constant term become a zero when I differentiate that the x term then I will have to consider the coefficient as for this particular term the x squared term now the index will multiply to the coefficient of the x squared so I have 2a and then x because I take one off the index. So this expression would be 2a plus b. Next, I look at the general form of the exponential function. Now, when I differentiate an expression like this, e to the power of u, and u is a function of x. u is a function of x. What it means is it can be anything involving x. If I have a trigonometric expression, it could be sine x. If I have um, a polynomial 1, which we have just looked at, it could be 3x plus 5. So, uh, other expression you can have also would be the ln maybe 3x. So in this case, ln is uh, log base e. 
So if I treat it generally, then it will be, and I differentiate the u, I have du over dx times e to the power of u. So that is just the differentiation of the index. So now we look at what u can be. So if u is any of this, sine function, cos function, tangent function, then I need to know how to differentiate it because the result will be the multiplier of the expression I'm trying to differentiate. So if I have a general form of a trigo function like this, sine bracket ax plus b, so I look at this. When I differentiate ax plus b, I get the result a, the coefficient of x. So I'll write it there. Then when I differentiate sine function, I'll get cos function. So that will be cos bracket ax plus b. Looking at the next case, the angular expression is ax plus b. When I differentiate that, just like the previous case, I'll get a. When I differentiate the cos function, I will get a negative sine. So negative sine bracket. The expression of the angle will not change. So I had ax plus b, now still the same. As for tangent function, differentiating that will give me secant squared. But I have to be mindful of the angular expression. So the result of differentiating the angular expression will be a, then secant squared bracket, and the expression of the angle. Next, we have the expression like this, the ln expression, ln bracket ax plus b. So if I have to differentiate this, then I have to consider a fractional expression. So I'll take this expression to be the expression of the denominator. So when I differentiate that, I'll get an a. So it's fractional. But if I'm thinking of combining the exponential function with this, so e to the power of ln, say, bracket ax plus b, then the approach will be different. We'll see that later. Now, we have monomial and polynomial expression as well. So, in this case, I'm looking at the monomial. The reason is that a polynomial is just a combination of several monomials. So if we can tackle this well, then we would know what to do with the polynomial expressions. So for this particular case, where n is positive, then the index multiplied to the coefficient a. So I have a n x to the power of every time we differentiate an expression then the index of the variable will be reduced by 1 so I have n minus 1 for this particular case where n is still positive but I have a negative index so what I do is just to take the negative index multiplied to the coefficient a. So I have negative a n x to the power of, and I take one of the index, I have this expression. Of course, I can rewrite this expression in another way, which is 
negative a n over x to the power of n plus 1. Now we are looking at C, results of differentiation of the form e to the power of ln ax plus b. So before we go on to do this, we need to know the simple result of e to the power of ln say 5. Now, ln is basically log base e5. If we have an arrangement of functions like this where you have e and the log base the same, then we'll have whatever expression we have in the log. So in this case, it's 5. So the result will be just 5. So when we look at this expression here, uh, e to the power of log a. So first of all, that expression will become just a. So this is a constant, and therefore when I differentiate that, I'll get a 0. Next, we have this expression e to the power of log base e so e and the base e is the same and therefore what i'm differentiating here will be a x plus b the expression of the log function well differentiating the constant b i'll get a zero and Differentiating the x term, I will just have the coefficient of it, which is just a. So we come to the end of this particular video segment.